my bike preparation. I'm on cereal. I'm definitely gonna have to get a new breakfast when I get home. I'm so sick of force feeding this into myself. Um, maybe I can put the tripod out. Feeling pretty good today. I think my body's finally figuring out that I want to ride a bike all day every day. But I must be 40 plus hours in, in four days. But tomorrow's rest day, so that's a good feeling. mad to think that I followed every single little bit on that road book to find my way here. Crazy! Picked up my road book. I've got a lovely cup of tea courtesy of Joe and the girls. The whole bivouac is getting up and leaving earlier today because we're heading to Dakla tonight. So last time I was there I was kite surfing but Dakla is a rest day tomorrow and you kind of want to get to the bivouac early to get the best spot and a lot of the bivouac have got that message so Joe and the girls are gonna to plan to leave pretty swiftly as well probably a good half an hour before I actually leave which means I've got to get on the bike a little bit sooner but that's no issues so they are currently having the breakfast of the fest of the breakfast break de la feast I'm clearly tired I'm talking nonsense how are you two doing Look at that enthusiasm! But to be fair, what I'm doing is tough on a bike, but actually being in the service crew for these events is really galling as well. Like yesterday you were in the car for 10 hours. Uh -huh. 10 hours drive, plus they're like building the whole camp thing after I leave, before I get there. And they're having to look after me, and I'm a nightmare, and I will admit that. You're not, actually. Can we say that again on camera? You're not actually, but you do have your moments. Yeah, oh, she just added in the extra bit the second time. But yeah, I do. It's, I mean, it's tough going. I think the most important thing is trying to recognise when you are really tired and grumpy and trying to catch it before you are grumpy at the three people that are here just to look after you and not being an arsehole to them. And I'm trying really hard because it's tiring. Right, day five. Finish the tea, get my road book in. Another day, another start line. Here we go. Day five, baby. Oof, as ready as I'll ever be. Bon là. là tu as 7,86 ok là oh ah ça c'est 7 ça c'est là tu the, montes là tu oh, pas pas yeah, yeah, monte, yeah. monte, monte là-haut go cool. have a good day
which is making good progress today. It means we are 145k in to 420, which means we are over halfway. It's a fast stage today. I think we're actually like sitting at 85 non-stop. I think my right wrist is the tightest part of me just from holding the throttle open. Um, definitely nice cruise control on a rally bike. We're constantly like adapting to the train anyway. Um, I'm trying to take on some calories. So you know what this is. Eat natural. Great marketing. There's nothing healthy about this. You're perfect for me right now. Lots of sugar. It's just like a barren landscape. So neutralization stage is a compulsory 15 minutes. Get refuel. If you leave early, you get a penalty. So it forces you to stop, drink. Um, but refueling my ladder. So the Busco rucksack has a three liter banner, which is the old oh, mountain water. And then I've got my dosage of tail with, so it's carbohydrate electrolyte. That gives me about a thousand calories to sit my way through. discovered that I like protein shakes because you can chug however many calories in this. How many calories? 200 calories in about 20 seconds. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Get them! <laughs> Prost! Is that the right word? No, cheers or oh, whatever. Yeah. Protein done. Right, I need a pee. Right, need pee time. I keep on riding. Every 300 meter, 400 meter was a camper. 
and just today was it. Yeah. Yeah, today was a straight. Is very Me tonight with my car. Uh, 70 kilometers. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> right. Good race. Good race. You race to the finish line just to see man with the pants down. I'm not really sure what's going on, but his uh, pants are down. No, his knee braces are rubbing him. So we have 175k liaison now down to Dakla. Whoop whoop! That was a really fast, flat out rally stage. I think we averaged probably what 80, 85. I definitely got a bit more comfortable just sitting at higher speeds. The suspension changed, so Joe adjusted my suspension overnight to make it a bit softer. Oh my goodness, it made a difference, but I think I need to go a little bit more still because I still feel like I'm getting a bit too much feedback. But yeah, superb stage. So yeah, drink your water and we'll carry on. He's got his chances up now. <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> Wiggle that ass. <laughs>
very proud of <laughs> I just went on a jolly into town to try and wash him. That's right, but I can't find it. anywhere. Yeah, no, I'll do it tomorrow. Sorry. Don't worry, it's all good. Woo! That was like a really easy day. Yeah. At like 85, 90. Me. Yeah. Cool. Having to concentrate to yeah, stay yeah. that speed at that train, but like, yeah. I'm and really easy navigation. With that being an easy day, I'm still knackered. I've seen it on a bike. How long have we been on a bike? 6.30, 9. Nine and a half hours. So it was an easy day, but it was still nine and a half hours. It's happening. I have no idea what this one's doing. She wouldn't be um, eating again, would she? Have I not expressed 125,000 times how the support crew's job is so important to get here before she does so she can eat? Look at her, air vest still on, boots still on. First thing, straight into the Pringles. What do you have to say for yourself, miss? Oh, we'll leave with the snack box, eh? The fact that she thinks I've stopped filming, and yet I haven't. What's she going for now? Oh, she wants some beef jerky. What about some Haribo? Oh, yeah. Pigskin. Pork scratching. Scratchlings? Pork scratching. I think you're the little piggy. God, why is that so itchy? So itchy. Like on a like scale of eight one, hours just driving along in a car. <gasps> I get new pants. I've got clean. Anymore. I know, but I've got clean pants for day I six. Saw, I saw someone comment the other day on one of your posts. She's like, oh, and she's what pants? two years older. Two years old Moscow pants. They don't even make those anymore. But these are the best pants. Oh, Moscow, make these pants again. These are the best pants. Well, they make those pants. But they're Moscow these. Woodsman pants. And they're the best. But they don't make this colour. They do make them in cool colours, but not these colours. Cool story, bro. Do better, Moscow. Did you find 20 bucks? I did, actually. I in found the Moscow pants? I found 22 bucks. No, I was, I was envisioning... It's been tough, yeah, and I'm now buying a set of Moscow pants on the basis that every set of pants comes with $22 in the pocket. Ooh, that is a bargain. That's what makes Savings. Them so cheap. <laughs> 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 oh, there. Set up in the middle 
of the desert is just absolutely unbelievable. The locals, like the local Moroccans here, they definitely go above and beyond in all ways. And what do we have Whoa. here? Dinner party. Dinner party? I tried to piss you. It's never <laughs> a party. Carries on the rums. Babies, baby rums. We are not, it was empty already when we when we come yeah, to the table. Absolutely, it was empty. I'm just a guest. No, no, no. So I'm going to introduce. Or the plan B. This is the famous Gunter who has been riding with Vanessa for the last few days that you only ever see with a helmet on. This is what it looks like without a helmet. <laughs> now eat your pudding. Yes, sir. Them. <laughs> Stay strong. Big G. She's named you Big G. Big G. You're Me? Big, you're yeah. Big G. <laughs> That's cool. Big G. Like Big that. Big G. And now she's on the beer too. Oh. And we've got some red wine going, That's mate. Not mine. Not mine. Not mine. This looks like a party. Yeah.